Not many actresses can say that they were called one of America's finest actresses. From dreaming about being an actress since she was a little girl, to being nominated for an Academy Award and winning a Golden Globe, Barbara Hershey proved to anyone who is trying to make it in Hollywood that by working hard and following your dreams, we can achieve everything. With her kind spirit and determination, here are 10 facts about Hershey that will make you admire her even more. But before we're getting into the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below saying, I subscribed, and we'll do our best to personally reply to your comment. Number 10. The acting passion was always there. Barbara wanted to act since she was a little girl. Because her passion for performing was so strong, she got the nickname Sarah Bernhardt after the late French actress. She was raised in a bungalow in Hollywood with her two siblings. Even though neither of her parents were actors, her father being a horse racing columnist, Barbara always remembers wanting to act. Whenever someone asked her as a child what she wanted to do, her answer was acting and she never changed her mind. Hershey shows us that being determined to stick to your goals gets you far, and with a lot of hard work, anything can be achieved. Number nine, her time at school. Barbara was a shy child and rarely spoke, making people think she can't talk. But that didn't stop her from joining the drama club, which in high school led her to getting an agent at only 17. Her first role was in a television series called Gidget, and to make her even more passionate about acting was the creator of the show, Sally Field, who made her nothing but welcomed and comfortable with her first acting job. Number eight, you might know her as Barbara Siegel. Like many actors we know from Nicolas Cage to Demi Moore, Barbara decided to change her last name. While most choose a different name to be more memorable or disassociate themselves from their family to keep them paparazzi free, Barbara's choice was more personal. While on the set in 1969 filming Last Summer, she had to do a scene with a bird, making it fly by throwing it in the air. Like most scenes, this one had to be shot multiple times, and during the last take, the seagull didn't survive the throw. Barbara felt so bad and responsible for what happened to it that she changed her last name to Seagull. The sudden change wasn't well received, costing half her salary, which was $25,000 in the movie The Crazy World of Julius Bruder, because the producers wanted her to use her previous name. Number seven, the time her ex broke her rib. Hershey met the father of her only child, David Carradine, on the set of Heaven with a Gun. They started dating while still filming the movie. One of the scenes they had to film was very intense and Carradine got so into it that she cracked one of Barbara's ribs. Despite the injury, the couple stayed together and later appeared in Boxcar Bertha, for which they also posed nude for a Playboy magazine, trying to recreate some of the scenes for the movie to promote it. Even though they had a son together, their relationship didn't last as Carradine was arrested in 1974 and was rumored to have an affair with another woman. This not only brought her heartache, but made her career suffer due to the drama the separation brought. Number six, the star of Martin Scorsese. Hershey is the only star who had the privilege to act in two movies directed by Martin Scorsese. The first one was Boxcar Bertha, in which she starred with her then sweetheart, David Carradine, and was Scorsese's first Hollywood film. Barbara enjoyed starring in that movie so much that she said that she has never had so much fun working on a movie before. Even though Barbara had to wait for 16 years to work with Scorsese again, she took the role of Mary Magdalene in The Last Temptation of Christ in a heartbeat. The movie is based on a book by Nikos Kazantzakis, and Scorsese told Barbara about it while they were still filming Boxcar Bertha, making her already familiar with the story. Scorsese's decision to make Hershey star in this movie was a great choice because it brought him an Academy Award nomination and Barbara a nomination for a Golden Globe. Number five, Hershey, the multi-award winning actress. Hershey was nominated for so many awards that we would need a whole day to name all of them. So we just decided to point out the biggest ones. Out of Barbara's three Golden Globe nominations, she won one for the TV movie, A Killing in a Small Town. She also won an Emmy for that same movie and was nominated a year later for her role of Hannah Trout in Paris Trout. Out of her 22 impressive nominations, she won 15 times, which is an incredible nomination to winning ratio. And it didn't only make her skyrocket her career, but made her known worldwide. If we think back that she wanted to be an actress since she was a little girl, we think Barbara did a superb job doing what she is so passionate about. Number four, Barbara's nomination for the Academy Award. We think that anybody that was nominated for the Academy Award deserves a special mention. It being the biggest and most prestigious award in Hollywood, 
It's a dream of every actor and actress, and just being nominated stirs the attention of directors and producers towards the star. Barbara is one of the lucky ones to be nominated for the Best Actress in a Supporting Role for her portrayal as Madame Serena Merlet, next to Nicole Kidman and John Malkovich in The Portrait of a Lady. Even though she didn't win the Oscar, Hershey turned many eyes and got a chance to play in many award-winning movies because of the nomination. Number 3. Getting the Roles in Award-Winning Movies The more awards and nominations she got, the better were the roles offered to her. She got a chance to work with Woody Allen and Darren Aronofsky. Since 2010, Barbara had a chance to play in the award-winning thriller Black Swan, where she played Natalie Portman's mother, and in the horror movie Insidious. Even if she didn't get an award for either of those films, she still gave them the spark only she can, and she showed everyone that even after 50 years on the scene, her passion and talent still have a lot to show. Number 2. A Sneak Peek into Hershey's Personal Life We already talked about her relationship with David Carradine, with whom she had a son named Free. She was only married once to Stephen Douglas, who she divorced just a year later. Hershey had a rough time in the late 70s, as it was rumored that she was using drugs and the producers didn't like to work with her because they deemed her undependable. Like many things in Hollywood, the rumors weren't true and seemed more like people were trying to jeopardize her career. She was known by many and confirmed by a lot of people in her life as a very private and professional actress. So perhaps people were just bothered that she didn't want to share everything in her life with the outside world. Number 1. Going strong after a 50-year long career If your mind is telling you that you've seen Barbara on your screen lately, you are not being deceived. She landed the leading role in an Amazon original movie, The Manor, which is a horror film about a woman who moves to a nursing home, convinced a supernatural force lives there. Hershey proved to us that she is beyond remarkable and that being in her 70s won't stop her from pursuing her passion, and we think there is something very admirable about that. We think it's safe to say that Barbara had an outstanding career that not many can top. We hope you enjoyed watching this video, and make sure to comment down below which of these facts was the most interesting to you. And remember to check out the other videos on our channel.